the afterlife dating service to help the living and deceased find each other for reincarnated love. You did it again, didn't you? Did you know your sentences are frequently fragmented? I have told you a dozen times not to tell customers about your crazy visions. Temporal lobe problems run in your family? That's only speculation. Of stack folders. Each of these folders represents a paying customer that I had to give a full refund to because of you and your psychic slash psychotic vision. I have to warn people when they're in danger. He slams a ball into the wall, but Pete moves in like a bullet and takes control. He rushes about, pounding the ball, and takes tally, leaves Pete the victor. They move together for the traditional handshake. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> Is this where the whining starts? Because I beat your punk ass? Certainly <laughs> not. Said to hurt your overly inflated ego, but you passed old a century ago. <laughs> she eats like she hasn't had a feeding in a month. Robert approaches. Hi, girl. Sarah chokes and guzzles water, which in a frenzy of panic runs down her chest. Good bread, huh? If it wasn't for bread and butter, I'm sure I'd weigh 120. The waiter appears and is startled by the mess in front of Sarah. Did you have an accident? She gives an embarrassed nod as he wipes away the scattered clump of damp bread with a small towel. He takes their food order and disappears. Sarah leans over and whispers to Sarah. I can't believe that you were fired. The bill collector's bill. Believe it next month. Yes, go and ask him for money. He's too busy spending money on strippers and hookers and any other female who thrusts their pelvis his way. I don't want to be obligated to him. I wish I had a father and a mother. My parents are gone. You're lucky to have a dad like Pete. He really loves you. He's a lot of fun. So is going to the circus, but you wouldn't want to live there. Well, what's wrong with looking at a circus? Awake. Tell me. I'm here, baby. Her eyes open. She throws her arms around his neck. They kiss a lover's kiss of longing. I missed you so much. How could I have forgotten us? It was our lives before this one. We're not supposed to remember when we manifest into new bodies. Are you real? Only to you because of your special <laughs> gift. And points to an ad circled in red. Look here, kid. A 43,000 square foot office at only five bucks a square foot. This is a good deal to you? Yes, my young bird brain friend. <laughs> this is a very good deal to me. Can you afford this, old white man? Yes. And utilities? Yes. Will you have to let your hookers go? <laughs> you blow my mind. I want to make it clear that your mind is the only thing of yours that it will ever blow. <laughs> you know, I don't know where you come up with this stuff. Did your mother mate with a monkey before you were born? One for the old guy and a psychobabble. This? This? Someone will be dying within 48 hours. There's a donor list for the dead. Hot damn! This makes me wish I was already on the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be cremated. Does that matter? Ladies, the process is simple. As you have read in the brochure, we give you, I possess intense psychic abilities. With the help of a male medium, I will be able to channel each of you to your perfect match waiting for you on the other side. I want that guy in the movie, you know, the one with the side-by-side -side casket. No, I want that one. Well, come down and sign that gizzard meat option about this. Are you the medium? Yes, I'm Tony, and I will be your spirit guide this evening. Thank you for coming at midnight. Tony and Martha sit next to each other. Robin sits across from them. Now, don't lose control of yourself if my date wants a kiss. It's been a long time, and I'll want to make sure he's the right one. Will I know if he's the right one? Yes. Both of you will know. If he isn't, he'll leave. Oh, my. This is like afterlife speed dating. <laughs> With your wonderful sense of humor, you'll have no trouble attracting your right afterlife match. Robin lights three tapered candles placed on a side table. Tony sits quietly with eyes closed. The lights dim. Gal, looks like she just went to sleep. Jeez, how old was she, a hundred? The officer rummages through Martin first and pulls out her driver's license. Uh, not quite. She was 91. We'll miss her. But you know what they say about being in a better place. 
I think I have all the information I need. Everything here looks on the up and up. Uh, have a good night. Good night. He leaves. Oh my God, is this what's going to happen to all of your clients? I have to say, it won't look good in the promotional materials. <laughs> <laughs> Each situation is different. It was, it was her time, but we got her to her true love. Pete, you, can you, can you ever forgive me for leaving and breaking up? Our family, can you? You Robin left rushes into dad? The you left dad? Oh, Robin, I. All these years, I thought he left you. I thought he was just a rotten, selfish husband and father. No, don't be mad at your mother. Don't, 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 don't be mad at the woman who's been living and lying to me all these years, and so have you. You both let me think that you left her. Why? Why did you do that? I wouldn't let her tell you. I, I, I didn't want to hurt your relationship with it, her. It just happened. I'm sorry. Oh, you're sorry when you burn dinner or forget to pick up paints for an art project, not when you ruin your child's life with lies. You were 19 when I left your father. I waited till you were in college. So you think it made it okay that you were shacking up with the monster from hell for a year before I left? Oh, please, I'm so uh, sorry. I want to hear that you're sorry. All this time, I've been thinking my father was a rotten, run around piece of garbage. He wasn't the rotten one, it was you! Well, I hope that you're happy with Roger, Mom. I hope you enjoyed every beating he ever gave you. You know why? You deserved it. Robin runs out and he <gasps> starts to go after her. Pete no, her no, back. leave her be for now. Let her cool off. You, you know how she gets. What have I done? I forgave you and she will too. And he sobs at Pete tenderly. You no, know, you would have been a really cute woman. <laughs> Do not attempt to fantasize about it. You know, every once in a while <laughs> words come out of your mouth that make sense. You probably cleaned your, yourself last night and removed the old man wax that was blocking the input of words. That pig just winked at me. I guess he goes for chunky bombs. <laughs> so, what do you want? First of all, I was very pleased with the last job you did for me a couple of years ago. Hey, I'm good. My boys are good. Now, it's what we do. Same price. Uh, how do you want it handled? Quick or slow? Quick. Needs to look like an accident. I get double the money from the insurance that way. Time print as soon as possible. Roger hands a picture to Frank. Broads are easy to whack, but doing it quick requires special considerations. So I'll tell you what. I'll give you a good price. Only 200 cheese. <laughs> what? Isn't that a little steep? I only paid you 100,000 last time. Hey. You got a heavy hitter insurance double deal going on. You get double since it's an accident. Right on the spot. You took it, and I was never so happy. <laughs> and all I ever wanted to do was, was make you happy. Yeah.